Good morning. This morning I'm in the, uh, the little village of Diddington. And uh, it's only a couple of miles north of St. Neots. Um, but this is the sort of the north end of um, Paxton Pitts Nature Reserve. And I've not been up this way before. And I'm sort of just trying to find a, a way to see if I can get down to the, to the lakes and the river and uh, see if there's anything going on. boots held up thankfully but this path goes on and on I've been walking a good 20 minutes and uh, I think I can see see a clearing ahead okay so it looks like a road okay that's interesting because if I can walk back that way I will because that was boggy Okay, so uh, I've just come down this track. You'll see I mark a pointer on the map. Um, I saw from the track down there this uh, viewing screen. So um, I've just come down to have a nosy, and um, it's quite nice. Uh, I mean, you've got to be very tall. Uh, I'm I'm six foot and a bit, and you know to look through the top ones. But they do have lower ones for the kiddies, or I would say people in a wheelchair, but. To be honest, you're trying to get a wheelchair down here on mobility scooters uh, going to be virtually impossible. But from a photography point of view, you're going to have to have one big lens to to get anything out there. Really, oh, I'm trapped. Um, so yeah, you're going to have to have one mega lens. But the other problem is you're shooting into the sun, so I can't see this being there. Uh, popular position for photographers for bird watchers with binoculars yeah um, I can see right over in the distance uh, let's see if I can position it I can see where that island is there just behind there it looks like there's another hide well, it actually looks like a proper hide uh, sorry for the pixelation, I'm doing this on an iPhone. But yeah, it looks like there's a hide there. So that looks like a more promising position because you're going to have the sun to the back of you and probably hopefully closer to a little bit more wildlife. But yeah, I might have a walk over there one day because that's closer to the top end of Paxton Pits. I'm not going to do that today, I'll come back and do that one. That's yeah, a vast amount of water they've uh, they've got here, which is good. Right, I'm going to go back and um, see if I can get down to the river. There is 
I believe this road here that goes down to what those ladies said was the, the pump house and I just see a water van come past so definitely on the right track. Um, there's a pathway here that uh, signs indicate is to Offord back to where I was and then the Use Valley Way which will take you back to Paxton Pits Visitor Centre I would presume. So let's crack on get down this road and uh, see if I can eventually get to the river. So one thing I've learned with uh, photography and wildlife is never say never. Um, there's always something that will, will save your day and um, yeah I was just getting down here and you know just behind me are the gates and it's the end of the path. Oh well I'm gonna have a, a walk back now. And then I come across this clearing and I can hear the kingfisher, so he's definitely about. But then just as I was setting up for the kingfisher, two buzzards come right over the top of me, which was absolutely brilliant to see. And I just didn't have time to get the video camera going to record them. And um, I snapped some pictures and uh, hopefully they've come out quite nice. So, uh, yeah, we can just keep our fingers crossed and um, hopefully I, I got them. Mm -hmm. 